and gentlemen, Douglas Emeka Oko is the name. Providing quality, complex tertiary care is the game. So it's September 2018 and it is Brain Aneurysm Month. The month of providing awareness about brain aneurysms. So the Zitadam Medicals and Diagnostics is supporting the mission of Brain Aneurysm Foundation which is to promote the early detection of brain aneurysms by raising awareness and providing information about the risk, symptoms and signs of brain aneurysms. So guess what? One in every 50, roughly about 2% of people in the world have brain, but a significant number of these people do not know that they have aneurysms and they will go through life without them having any problems. But rarely, you can have problems with aneurysms, either because the aneurysms grow so large and cause pressure on very key strategic important areas of the brain, or the aneurysm ruptures and you have a catastrophic bleed. Now, more up to about 40% of people who actually have a bleed will not even make it to hospital. So a bleed from aneurysm is actually a medical emergency. So, a patient with a an brain aneurysm running into problems will present either with symptoms of compression of vital structures within the brain, where they can have problems with their sight, problems with headaches, and problems depending on which vital structures in the brain are being uh, compressed. Now, to make a diagnosis of these, you have to do imaging, a CT scan, a brain scan. So the patient has a symptomatic aneurysm with pressure effects on structural areas of the brain or the patient has had a ruptured aneurysm. These kind of patients need to be managed in a facility that has the capacity to manage such complex patients, both in terms of staffing and in terms of hardware and equipment absolutely important. There are two modalities of treating such patients. One of them is what we call a neuroradiology intervention, where you actually have things like endovascular coil, which is quite minimally invasive. Unfortunately, in Nigeria, 2018, we don't have that. Now, the second option is the old school style procedure, where you actually do a full-blown brain operation, or call a craniotomy, to actually clip these aneurysms or remove them from the circulation. Now, I talked about capacity, theater. Now, one of the key things or key equipment that we need is an operating microscope. Okay? An operating microscope helps you visualize the very small, the blood vessels, all the critical structures that you need to see when you're doing such a brain operation. So, this is absolutely important. Now, this is an Escola B Brown high speed drill, and it's used for actually taking out a bone disc or taking out the part of the skull when you actually want to access the brain to actually go under the brain to look for any of these aneurysms and clip them. So this kind of equipment are needed. So following a symptomatic aneurysm or a ruptured aneurysm, such a patient is in a critical condition. Now, when such a patient comes into a facility, a hospital, that patient should be looked after in a critical area, a critical care ward, an intensive care unit, ICU for short. Now, like I said earlier on, it's Brain Aneurysm Month, and we in Zitadel Medicals and Diagnostics are all about providing and empowering Nigerians with information regarding complex healthcare issues. We are working in line with the National Health Act, Part 3, Section 24, which talks about dissemination of information to Nigerians to empower them. And we do this for one reason and one reason only, ladies and gentlemen. The Nigerian patients are worth it. Thank you very much.